my friends, and welcome to your daily devotional for Tuesday, June 9th, 2020. It is good to be with you again. Our prayers today come from a resource called Let Us Pray, Reformed Prayers for Christian Worship, a publication of Geneva Press. Take a moment and relax and calm yourself and let us prepare to be filled with God's Holy Spirit. We begin by turning to Psalm 29, and this reading and all of the readings come from the Common English Bible translation. Listen now for God's word to us. You divine beings, give to the Lord. Give to the Lord glory and power. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bow down to the Lord in holy splendor. The Lord's voice is over the waters. The glorious God thunders. The Lord is over the mighty waters. The Lord's voice is strong. The Lord's voice is majestic. The Lord's voice breaks cedar trees. Yes, the Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon jump around like a young bull, makes Syrian jump around like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice unleashes fiery flames. The Lord's voice shakes the wilderness. Yes, the Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice convulses the oaks, strips the forests bare, but in his temple, everyone shouts glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the floodwaters. The Lord sits enthroned king forever. Let the Lord give strength to his people let the Lord bless his people with peace. Let us pray. All around us, O oh God, are the evidences of your creative power and the reminder of how all things essential for life on earth have been given to us. So keep us, we pray, from moving blindly through our days, from failing to pay attention to the lessons these gifts have to teach us, from failing to witness to others the source of these gifts, and from failing to thank you for them. Forgive us and use us as you will in the name and for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the book of Job, and we'll be reading chapter 39, verses 13 through 25. Listen for God's word. The ostrich's wings flap joyously, but her wings and plumage are like a stork. She leaves her eggs on the earth, lets them warm in the dust, and then forgets that a foot may crush them or a wild animal trample them. She treats her young harshly as if they were not hers, without worrying that her labor might be in vain. God didn't endow her with sense, didn't give her some good sense. When she flaps her wings high, she laughs at horse and rider. Did you give strength to the horse? Clothe his neck with a mane, cause him to leap like a locust, his majestic snorting a fright. He paws in the valley, prances proudly, charges at battle weapons, laughs at fear unafraid. He doesn't turn away from the sword. A quiver of arrows flies by him, flashing spear and dagger. Excitedly, trembling, he swallows the ground. Can't stand still at a trumpet's blast. At a trumpet's sound, he says, aha. Smells the battle from afar. Hears officers shouting and the battle cry. God continues to explain here all of the things that God created, not humans. What is your favorite part of God's creation? Why? Our New Testament reading today comes from 1 Corinthians Chapter 12, verses 4 through 13. Listen again for God's word. There are different spiritual gifts, but the same spirit. And there are different ministries and the same Lord. 
and there are different activities, but the same God who produces all of them in everyone. A demonstration of the Spirit is given to each person for the common good. A word of wisdom is given by the Spirit to one person, a word of knowledge to another according to the same Spirit, faith to still another by the same Spirit, gifts of healing to another in the one Spirit, performance of miracles to another, prophecy to another, the ability to tell spirits apart to another, different kinds of tongues to another, and the interpretation of tongues to another. All these things are produced by the one and same spirit who gives what he wants to each person. Christ is just like the human body. A body is a unit and has many parts, and all the parts of the body are one body, even though they are many. We were all baptized by one spirit into one body, whether Jew or Greek or slave or free, and we were all given one spirit to drink. Friends, this is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Spiritual gifts are a big part of how we serve God and one another. Are you able to recognize your own spiritual gifts? What about the gifts of others? Let us pray. Dear God, the loneliness that has so suddenly come into our lives has been hard to bear and seems impossible to overcome. We turn to you in this hour of need to claim your promise that in your mercy you will always be with us and will always care for us, that you will be our constant companion and our dearest friend. Embrace us in your love, we pray, and as hard as it seems right now, start us on the road back to life as you show us how to reach out to others in their loneliness as you reach out to us in ours. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Friends, may the Almighty God bless, preserve, and keep you this day and every day. Go in peace. I'll see you tomorrow.